Well, for the rest of the story about snow in the Evergreen. I think it was May, late in the spring at any rate, 1967, I'd already signed the contract to go up to a Sheridan as superintendent. And uh, it was the middle of the morning when it started to snow, but I'm telling you, it was kicking it out. And I was a little concerned, but I thought, you know, they might run the buses an hour early or something. But never even occurred to me that they'd call school off in Evergreen in the middle of the day. And I suppose it should have occurred to me, because that probably meant that they could get it done and not disrupt the total integration of those bus routes. But anyway, the kids are, some of the kids were still in the lunchroom. The call came in, have them ready in 30 minutes to load and send the town kids home. Call them off school in Evergreen. Pretty hectic. Got to get all the teachers informed, get all the kids informed, and buses are going to arrive, and here's where, you know, where the buses will be, and all that jazz is a little bit different than normal. But the buses come, they're loaded. Whew. I just get into the office and sitting down and relaxing. And the secretary it brings in a lady bus driver that I'd never met. And she said, you have got to help me. They have double loaded my bus. And I have the route that goes up above here to Brook Forest. And I cannot safely drive that bus and take care of all those extra kids. You've got to send somebody with me. Well, you know, that's now, and every minute you wait, things are getting more serious, because, I mean, it's kicking the snow down. I said, I'll go with you. So I grab my coat, we go out, and, oh, my gosh, that bus was jammed. Three kids to every seat, and some kids standing up. No wonder the lady wanted some help. Well, she starts out up, the, and, I mean, it's, it's uphill to Brook Forest. And she's letting kids off on the way up. Gets up to Brook Forest, she lets off quite a bunch of kids. And she's down now, I don't know, 15 or 20 kids. Whew. Heads back towards Evergreen and gets down, I can't remember the name of that road, but the one that goes to Snyder's Place and up the road, going, I believe, south. Let's the Snyder kids off, starts up that long hill. Well, you know, I didn't think we were in any trouble. I don't believe that was as steep a climb maybe as what we'd been doing going up to uh, Brook Forest. But another 30, 40 minutes had occurred. There was that much more snow. I don't know, maybe the temperature had changed. Maybe that snow was slicker. I don't know, except that I don't think she was... Uh, a mile above Snyder's, and she's starting to lose traction. And pretty soon she's lost traction. Well, if she'd been more experienced, and if I'd been more experienced about snow, we probably should have stopped right there. But she tried to back up and get another run at it. Ended up in the ditch. So I asked for a volunteer, and one of the youngsters volunteered to walk down with me, because I didn't know just exactly how I was going to do all this. Well, we got out of Snyder's, and of course, the kids had just got there. There were people at Snyder's, got in, used their telephone, called in the situation. They said, we'll send a, a wrecker or some sort of help up to you to go back to the bus and just remain calm. They don't let the kids leave that bus. Okay. I suppose the volunteer and I both went back. I don't really remember. But I do know that it wasn't too long, probably less than an hour, and a big old wrecker came up there. And that was an interesting operation to watch. That uh, fellow knew that with that, all that snow, even though he had changed on that wrecker, he needed to anchor. He took a cable and anchored the front of his wrecker to, I remember he used a rock or a tree out there, but he anchored it and then put a cable back with a winch, brought that bus out just slicker than a whistle, snubbed up to it. I don't remember just how that was done. I don't know if he lifted the front end or what he did, but 
he you know we stayed in the bus and he evidently had somebody with him that knew the roads because he ran the rest of the bus route problem solved while it's the afternoon I ever put in and I was sure glad to get back to my office and didn't stay there very long get back to my home from then on it was all downhill don't know if we had another snow but that was one time the second time that school was closed at an irregular time one for all day and one for a half a day because of snow in the mountains and the only time in those five years, only times.